I was on board the Jonas McCain and uh, you know went went through all that. So definitely now, just personally, DC it, absolutely. That's you know you gotta you gotta take it seriously. You know you can't uh, you can't necessarily call the fire department when you're when you're out at sea floating in the middle of the ocean. So I mean. Everyone, everyone aboard ships got to be knowledgeable in damage control efforts. Uh, it's already been, you know, we've had a few casualties in the past uh, recently, and uh, you know, it was because of those damage control efforts. You know, they were able to fight the ship, and the ship was safe. As far as instructors, we've definitely added up, uh, moved up the intensity to how we train, because I believe before students would come in, you just sit through powerpoints, and then you just go through you know, the curriculum of the course, and they really didn't take it personally until we had the few incidents. So now they really know they need to be trained to combat the ships. As far as damage where you're taking on massive amount of water on the ship, it can mess up the ship's stability, the, the ability of the ship to stay afloat, or the buoyancy of it. The ship may overturn a rock. So making sure you minimize the water coming into the ship while getting rid of a lot of the extra water the ship's taking on. When you add in the fact that we do this for a reason, to make sure we can go home at night or make sure our ship survives. It brings a lot more importance to what you're actually doing.